welcome back students i hope all of you are doing well so i'm expecting that whatever i told you in the previous class you all remember right so let's do a quick recap so we have learned about civilization what is a civilization it is an advanced stage or system of social development then we learned about the important features of civilizations okay, and then we read about the mesopotamian civilizations location and origin so mesopotamia means the land between two rivers that is tigris and euphrates okay it is the oldest civilizations and which flourished from around 3500 bce to 600 bce okay i hope you recall everything so let's start with our today's lesson and we will start from main characteristic of the mesopotamian civilization so main characteristic of mesopotamian civilization means the features the main features town planning means to make plannings regarding town making okay so the discovery of the sumerian city of ur tells us how the people of early mesopotamia lived the cities were not as well planned as the harappan city about which you will learn later but they followed a uniform pattern excavation show that the city was divided into three main parts the information about the sumerian city of ur tells us how the people used to live in the mesopotamian civilization the cities were not as well planned means not well designed as the harappan cities okay but they followed a uniform pattern that means they the buildings follow followed the similar model or design okay excavations means the process of digging showed that the city was divided into three main parts the cities are divided into three main parts that is the sacred area that is the holy area the walled city means surrounded by walls the city that surrounded by walls on a mount means mount means raised area of ground okay the sacred area had the temple tower or ziggurat dedicated to the patron god of the city so the holy area had the temple tower or ziggurat which was dedicated to the patron god means who supports with money the god which supports with money to the city okay there were smaller temples dedicated to other gods there were other temples also which belongs to other gods these this area also had the storehouse and the offices so sacred area also had storehouse means for storing goods okay and offices also people lived in the walled city and the other outer town area so where the common people used to live they used to live in the walled city that is surrounded by walls and the outer town areas houses were built along the streets each house had a central courtyard with room around it now what is a courtyard an unroofed area that is completely enclosed by walls or building okay so all the houses have a courtyard with rooms okay now come to the architecture now what does this mean it is a general term to describe buildings okay the mesopotamians introduced architectural forms such as arch columns domes and walls in the construction of buildings so the mesopotamians introduced architecture means the design to form this arches means curved tops columns means pillars domes means a round roof and vault an arch like structure okay almost like a dome in the construction of buildings so for constructing buildings they designed this arches columns domes and vaults okay this is believed to be one of the greatest contributions of mesopotamia in the field of architecture so it is considered these all things okay considered as a gift okay or uh, from the mesopotamian side in the field of architecture their temple towers were monumental structures made from sun baked bricks so the temple towers as you can see in the picture were monumental means very big or massive structures okay and which are made from the sun baked bricks means 
the dried or cracked by sun's heat those kind of bricks they looked like man made mountains soaring high above the earth so they look like mountains built by man okay rising high above the earth they were many story high and were decorated with tiles precious stones and marbles so the level of buildings were decorated with tiles precious stones and marble these temples were also used as observatory schools granaries and trade centers so these temples means the ziggurat were also used as a observatory means a building from which scientists can watch the planets or stars okay it was also used as in the school then granaries means a large building for storing grains okay and also used as a trade centers the architect also built big cities canals and dams so the architects means the the person who design buildings okay they also build big cities canals means a narrow space from where the water can pass and dams means barrier okay the hanging garden of babylon are a brilliant specimen of mesopotamian architecture so and they are one of the seven wonders of the ancient world so you can see this picture i got it from net okay so this is a picture of the hanging gardens of babylon and these are the brilliant specimen means one of the means sample you can say of the mesopotamian architecture okay buildings they are one of the seven wonders so these are considered this one is considered as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world okay i hope it is clear okay now come to society the social structure the mesopotamian society was divided into three classes so the society was divided into three classes the upper class middle class lower class so the upper class consisted of the members of the royal family priest and high officials so the upper class consisted of the family of royal family priest means the person who perform the sacred duties so religious duties okay and high officials like knights okay kind of then comes the middle class consisted of farmers artisans and traders the majority of the people were farmers so in the middle class it consists of farmers artisans means craftsmen okay and traders who like buys or sells good okay and the majority of the people were farmer in this class and the lower class consisted of slaves slaves means servants okay now comes to the family life the father was the head of the family and enjoyed special privileges the right of women were protected children were brought up very strictly and boys were sent to schools to study reading writing and arithmetic and girls were trained in dance and music so their family structure is like the father was the head okay of the family and enjoyed special advantages and the rights of women were also prohibited children were brought up strictly okay and boys were sent to school for reading writing and for maths arithmetic and girls were trained in dance and music okay now comes to the occupation agriculture the main occupation of the mesopotamian was agriculture the euphrates and the tigris river, rivers were their main sources of water supply flooding was irregular so they built an elaborate and highly developed irrigation system to ensure a steady supply of water throughout the year they also built dikes to control flood so the mesopotamians main occupation was agriculture and the main sources of water comes from the two rivers that is euphrates and tigris and flooding was irregular means very abnormal it can come any time okay we cannot means they cannot used to the so mesopotamian could not predict it okay when flood is coming or not so they built an elaborate means worked out with a great care and highly developed irrigation system you know what is irrigation the practice of supplying land with water so that crops or plants can grow properly okay so they built an irrigation system and 
ensure a steady supply of water throughout the year and they also build dikes now dikes are like um, are the thick walls built to stop water flooding okay to control floods okay to increase agricultural yield they invented the ox drawn plow they also use the wheeled wagon for transportation of goods the modern world is indebted to them for these inventions they revolutionized the evolution of human society the mesopotamians are believed to have been the first to cultivate wheat they also grew barley pulses and fruits so to increase the agriculture yield means to increase the agriculture amount they invented ox drawn plow okay what is a plow plow is a farm tool for showing seeds okay so they invented a ox an ox drawn plow and they also used to uh, use this vehicle which is wheeled wagon for transportation of goods and the modern world means today's world is very much grateful to them for these inventions okay the mesopotamians also transfer revolutionized means transfer the, from transform the evolution means the development of human society okay and the mesopotamians are also believed to have been the first to cultivate wheat so they are the first people to cultivate wheat and they also grew barley pulses and fruits now comes the domestication of animals means to tame and keep animals with humans okay they domesticated animals such as the cow goat sheep and donkey so these are the animals which the mesopotamians tamed and kept with themselves okay so that's all for today children i hope you have enjoyed it you have understood it and meet you again in our next class until that time go through the chapter and take care of yourself thank you